Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 301. And what you're looking at again is my two uh, new emergency radios that I just got in this past week. And I'm going to tell you something about the two of them. And I, um, I wanted to get this video done because um, it appears that we're going to get some nasty weather here in Florida in the next couple of days. Now, it's not severe weather, but like I said before, we don't have to have severe weather. We can have some just a little gust of winds of 20 to 30 mile, five miles an hour, and the power lines get knocked down, and we're without power. And uh, so I, I'm trying to uh, learn how to use these guys, and so I'll be prepared. I've got them set up, I think, to... Uh, sound alarm if there's a tornado or emergency or some kind of bad weather condition so we may get a chance to try them out anyway we're just going to talk about the radios and the features today and the differences between the two radios again this is the Eaton and the model number is FR800 and this is kind of the top of the line of the Eaton American Red Cross emergency radios. I think they may now have a one above this, but this is kind of the top of the line. And uh, and yet it doesn't have um, some of the features that the other Eaton radios in this line have. So I'll be talking about what it doesn't have and what it does have. And then again, this is the Radio Shack radio that I got from Amazon and I think I paid twelve ninety nine and I know I checked yesterday and it was still on sale for twelve ninety nine and I believe they uh they're twenty nine ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine on at Radio Shack. And I noticed Radio Shack when I checked their website yesterday, they don't have the green anymore, they have the red but I believe it's exactly the same radio, just a different color. But I think Amazon still has some left at twelve ninety nine, and if they do, I'd jump on one of those. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's start with the Eaton radio. It um, it has a number of functions, and the thing that caught my eye, first of all, thinking of look and feel kind of thing is um, it's got a very nice display and it's very easy to read even when the backlight is off um, I haven't found any way except for pushing one of these buttons to get the backlight to come on there's no way I haven't found any way to get it to stay on for a length of time it's uh, it uses uh, three C cell batteries, making it kind of hefty. It's nice and wide, so it sits on the table or night step stand pretty securely. It's got this kind of funky uh, handle on the back, okay, you know, to hold it like this. A little different. Um, what it doesn't have is Several of radios in this line have both a solar panel here for charging the internal battery and a crank for charging the internal battery. This one does not have either of those. So you're strictly dependent on the batteries go down here or the AC adapter, which it does come with an AC adapter, so that's a good thing. Um, the controls are pretty straightforward. You got all these buttons on the top that makes it nice. It don't show up as well. Maybe right there, maybe they show up. But there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven functional buttons. Plus, this button here and the side little thingy here is also controlling the radio. So menu selection to select 
uh, whether you want to set up the radio, whether you want to set up the the uh, emergency services, alarms, whatever you want to do it, you use it through this menu system here. You can also use it to tune the radio because there's no tuning knob per se. Um, on this side is the volume knob and the headphones jack. Headphones jack is on this side. On this side is the power and the well, I can't. I hate this embossed thing with this. Can't. It's not raised. Oop, I'm reading it upside down. That's part of the problem. Audio in. So you can use this speaker as a amplifier speaker system to plug in your other radio, your iPod or whatever. So that's kind of in general just a look and feel. Coming over here to the Radio Shack, um, I really kind of like this. It, at first thought, I thought this was metal, but it's plastic. And one thing that they've done on this radio that the other radios that I've tested that have this dyno crank charger capability, they gave you a handle. And whoops, I kicked the camera there. And now you have something to hold on to besides grabbing the radio, like the other radios I've got, but you've got something to hold on. So when you crank crank this thing, you know, you got something that makes you feel like you're not going to drop it. Or I know on another radio I have, which doesn't have that, I constantly am hitting the buttons on the radio when I'm trying to crank it. And like most of the good ones, that the good ones from the standpoint of the dyno, dyno charger, is that it you know you've got you're getting a lot of back pressure from that system when you're cranking it. So I kind of really you know the layout of this is really nice. The display is it's big enough for what you want to see. Um, on this side, we have an AC adapter jack. So you don't get the AC adapter. Um, a headphones jack. And nothing on this side. On the top, we have the power slash volume control. And then this has a tuning knob on the top. For this one, you have to use this function key thing. Um, on the back, this has a USB port, and that USB port is used for charging an external device such as a cell phone by using the dyno system. Now, um, if I open this battery pack, remember this, this, this guy here has those big C cells, which means it's going to run for a long time. This one has two options. Whoops, camera again. Oh, again, two options. I need Mr. Finger. Mr. Finger, can you come help me out here? Okay, got two options. One being this battery pack here, which is similar to a battery pack you'll find in your wireless phones, your wireless home phones. And that um, that is what, when you're using the dyno to charge this, you're charging this battery here. Also, it has room for AA batteries, three AA batteries. So it's powered by three AA batteries. So you got to actually three sources of power. You got the built-in battery pack, the AC, and, I mean, excuse me, the AA batteries and the AC adapter, which it does not come with. Okay. Now, let's see if we can put the cover back on without breaking it. It's always a challenge for me. There, good. Okay, now moving right along. Um, features. Okay, this one, the Radio Shack, has the dyno so you can charge the internal battery and/or an external device. Now, one thing. 
that the manual pointed out, which the manual is not very good, but it does point out one thing. And it says that when you want to use the charging point, the po charging point, oh boy, which is right here, and it's got an on-off switch. I guess that just kind of protects it from being damaged. Um, you have to have had, you have to have had, you have to have charged the internal battery first. So you got to run that dyno thing, get that internal battery charged, and that is used as the buffer to charge the external devices, is my guess. It's a guess. I don't know. But anyway, okay, we digress. So we got that feature. Um, again, let me turn this on sec for a second. Again, this has a backlight that comes on when you turn the radio on, but there's, number one, there's no specific button to turn the light on, and there's no way to adjust how long it stays on or keep it on that I've found that it's not in the manual. Um, you have the radio is AM, FM, and the weather channel, the NOAA weather channels, which you, um, you, let me turn this on. Oh, it's on. Okay, so it's saying right now it's on NOAA weather channel 3. Doesn't tell you the frequency, but that's not really important. So what you do is, Okay, so I'm I'm already got it tuned to a channel that I can pick up locally. If you don't hear anything, what you do is you press. You either t use this knob, go through the seven channels. There's the one I can receive, and I don't even have the antenna extended, so it's doing a good job. Or you can use this button here, which is to scan through the AM FM band and find a signal or to scan through the weather channels in case you're not getting one at the moment you just leave it on the scan and let it find it. Okay, um, let me turn the sound off. So this is the band select and this is for selecting whether you want just a alert alarm if there's a, a weather conditioning condition happening or you want to hear some voice alarm and then this is the scan button this is the on off switch for the light it does have a one LED light kind of okay in a pinch and then this is to select whether you want to use the AA batteries as your power source or the dyno slash rechargeable battery pack as your power source. Now, while we're there, I did a short test of the dyno charging the batteries. And the test that I normally do is I crank for one minute and then I rest, get the numbness out of my hands for one minute. I crank for one minute and then I rest and I do that for five cycles. So it gets a total of five minutes of cranking. And then what I did is I turned the radio on on the weather channel about medium volume and I just let it run until it dropped out. And it ran 22 minutes. So five minutes of cranking gave me 22 minutes of radio power. So that kind of gives you some indication of what you can do. And that was with a completely dead battery because what I did is I left the radio on when I first got it to completely drain the battery and then I did that test. So that's how that worked. Um, I think that's about it. This, um, let me, okay now I'll jump back to the Eaton. Now the Eaton as far as weather's weather alerts is that it has the same s.a.m.e. technology where 
you number one you can program it to only receive alerts in your specific area so if say like I'm picking up the weather channel and I'm picking it uh, say 50 miles away and not likely but say it's 50 miles away I don't want to hear alerts from that channel that are not from my area particularly you know yeah maybe maybe no so this radio gives you the capability of programming it so you can selectively have it um, trigger on alerts or reports in a specific area this one doesn't if there's you know weather alert that's going to uh, affect people long ways away it'll still set the alert so I won't know and some people have complained that um, about both of these radios because apparently they didn't get this one set up correctly is that they're getting alerts all the time and it's not even near them so this one should help you do that now it takes a little bit of time and you have to go on their website to find out what the codes are and everything so that takes a little time to set up but once you get it set up it's its stay so it has the advantage of that same technology where this one is just going to give you a general alerts and it may not be specific to your area like a flood alert that's sometimes very specific to an area now the other thing this does is when it does receive an alert from the NOAA weather channel and you've set it up it will decode a text message that comes with that alert this one won't do it now and that is another set of codes I think it's like three or four letters that tells you what the specific alert is since like for instance flooding or hurricane whatever so that's another feature this radio has now I like I said in my previous show I got this radio on sale for I think $17 yeah $17 because it's not it's a refurbished so-called factory refurbished unit and I didn't find anything wrong with it no scratches nothing everything seems to work I haven't tried all the alert functions because the only way I can really try it is to have an alert so um, that's kind of one of the big differences between the two radios so this one has that same technology but it doesn't have anything but the AC adapter and these three C cell batteries for power where this one has this dyno crank power which to me even though it doesn't give you a lot of playtime it does give you something so that you can kind of check on the weather conditions in your area plus it allows you to charge your cell phone theoretically now that for me would be a good feature because my cell phone just drains my battery and I have to charge it like every 12 hours and I've turned off a lot of features but it's still a battery hog and if I use it for um, video conferencing or something it'll kill that battery in like an hour so having this when I don't have any power at my house that would come in handy for me so I can use my cell phone again if the situation arrives so I I like that feature so kind of bottom line I think I've covered everything uh, the antennas on both these radios are, are you know more than adequate I like this this antenna because it's totally recessed and let me just extend it here to show you well I can't show you because it's but I'm a uh, let me extend this one also and let's just compare not that that's real important oh hush let's just compare uh, the antenna on this guy is 
about eight inches longer. Now, whether that makes a difference in the reception or not, <laughs> who knows? I will, uh, I will do a quick test and I'll put up here as an annotation of whether now this radio. Okay, let's just turn it on. Let's just try it. So we're running 20 minutes. Who cares? Okay. So I got channel three. Nothing on channel four. Nothing on channel five. Nothing on channel six. I got seven. Nothing on one. Two is real weak. Three. Okay. So that one got two channels, weather channels out of seven. Now we'll try this one. And we got three also. Loud and clear, just like that one did. Four, no. Five, no. Six, no. Seven. Loud and clear. One, no. Two, no. Now that one got two kind of weak. So, so this radio got two channels. This one got two in a part of one. So that kind of gives you an indication of the reception capability with a sample of one test. You know, not very detailed test. So I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover about these two radios. It's hard to pick between the two because this one gives you the same technology plus it's got the big C cells for a battery. This one doesn't give you the same technology but it's got the dyno so you can crank this thing in case the batteries die on you and still give you some, some short play time. Plus it has the capability, capability and I'll say because I haven't tested it, that you can charge a cell phone or other device using the dyno. Now, what I'm going to do now that I have, hold on, what I'm going to attempt to do is now that I have the charger doctor, I'm going to attempt to test the output of this USB charging port. Uh, I'll test it two ways just to see what the, I'll test to look at what the voltage is and I also will test to see what kind of current is flowing from this guy to my battery to give me some kind of indication of how long, my cell phone I should say, how long it would t take to get enough charge on a dead cell phone to make a phone call. Try that test and I'll uh, post that in another video. So, if you have any questions about these two radios, again, it depends on your preference, whether you want the same technology or you want this dynamo capability. Right now, this is an excellent buy. I checked yesterday, I haven't checked today on Amazon, uh, and I'll, I'll add it to my Amazon store if it's still on sale. Well, I added it anyway, whether it's on sale or not. But this at 12 something, whatever I paid for it, Plus, I got free shipping because I have the Prime account. This is an excellent buy for an emergency radio. And I didn't even mention the uh, AM and FM capabilities. Both radios have very good sound. I would say this one might have slightly better. It's more, mm, a little more deep, bassy where this one's a little bit tinny, but not bad. I mean, we're talking, you know, portable radios. You're not going to get a terrific sound out of a, this type of radio on FM or AM. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please leave me a question or comment. Or if you want to send an email directly to me, my email address is trrs73 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.